Hi, you're here sewing with Cody, and today we're on the Bernina 3 series, and we're going to show you how to take out your bobbin, your bobbin case, and clean your machine. All right, let's get a closer look at down here. So with the Bernina 3 series, this is the Bernina, the current model, Bernina 335, 325, and some of our discontinued models like the 380, the 350, and the 330, and also your 2 series, like your 210, your 215, your 240. So open our door, and down here is our bobbin case. So with this series, in these series, we are um, working with a CB hook, which has been around for a very long time when it comes to Berninas. So easily recognizable by our bobbin case with their little finger and our um, bobbins that have our circles instead of like the little slits on our uh, rotary hook systems. So down here, let's get closer. Down here is our CB hook system. So right here on the left hand side, there's a little lever. So we'll push that in and this race cover will come down. It stays attached, but comes down. And this is one of the first signs. So whenever you open this up, you always want to see a little oil residue around here. You never want it to be completely dry. And we have machines that come in for repair and they're having issues. It's making noise. It's it's just not working properly. And one of the first things we open this up, this is just completely dry. And what that tells us is that the machine's not getting oil. You aren't oiling the machine enough um, to produce that little excess oil spray that's created when that hook is rotating really fast. So when that's really dry, that means when we take the hook out, this is also really dry. So in here you can see that there's a little knob right here, or a little pegs we'll call it. And that's what we use to pull out and take out this guy. So this is the CB hook. Um, or, you know, I don't know if this is technically the hook. I'm not a technician. But I'm going to call it the hook. And I may be completely wrong, but this is what we're looking at when we're working with a CB hook system. So once we have that out, we can set that aside. And then in here, this is where we'll clean. So we'll take our little brush and we'll get all in there and clean any lint because there's nothing else that can come out, no uh, mechanical parts. We'll take all that out. And we're gonna take a little oil pen. This one's different than what probably comes with the uh, Bernina 3 Series. Uh, but basically any of the Bernina oil pens will work nicely. And I'll tilt it up so you can see a little bit. So in here, we're gonna put a little bit of oil right in this area here. So I'll put a few, just a couple of drops of oil in there. Now, if it's super dry, you may wanna give it a little bit more oil. So once we have that oiled and all cleaned up, we can then take our little half moon shaped device and sometimes it helps if you tilt it, especially if you're not familiar how it goes. Um, otherwise, it's just gonna fit right in there. So if you can look and see, see how we have this metal piece here? So that is the other half of this, essentially. That does not come out. But so this is going to complete that circle. It's the best way to describe it. So if our needle is all the way up, this should pretty much fit up and tuck, kind of like that top right corner. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that it fits nice and flat. So when we look at it, this outer rim right here should be nice and flush. And it fits in there beautifully. So what we then want to do is we want to shut this race cover. And we want to make sure it kind of snaps in there so it's in place. And what I always tell my customers to do with this style hook system is before you put anything else in or before you put anything else in and start sewing, you want to make sure you come over and turn the hand wheel. So what this will allow you to do is it'll allow this to turn and rotate. And if for whatever reason this is not in correctly or this isn't shut all the way, it may pop out or it may pop into place or something may happen, but you wanna make sure that you're gently turning the hand wheel and allow that to happen opposed to putting everything back in 
and allowing the motor to start sewing and then something major happens. It's just, it's less frightening if you do it this way. So once you have that back in there, then we'll take our bobbin and we'll put it in our bobbin case and it goes in like this. So the thread comes off clockwise or over to the right. Just drop it in and we'll feed it to the little slit and up through here. And we'll talk about the bobbin case in another video. And this just pops back in. So a number of customers will hold about the little lever. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, the downside to that is when you put it in, it really doesn't make a click. And I like to hear that click because it ensures me that it's in there. So what I'll do is I'll just take it and I'll just put it in. And that little finger that we have here, that's always gonna be facing up. So when we put it in without the, holding the little lever, it will snap in. And that's what we want to hear. So the other trick is when we put this back in, we want to pull this thread, this tail, and we want to make sure this tail pulls relatively smoothly with, with just a little bit of resistance. If there's too much resistance, if it's really tight, then this most likely didn't get pushed in all the way. So if there's no resistance, pulls nice and smooth, then we can cut it right here in the thread cutter, close our door, and then we're ready to start sewing. But since I mentioned this video is about cleaning, we also want to take off our foot. And you can do this before or after you put any of this back in. We want to make sure we take off our stitch plate. So to take off our stitch plate, we press in the top right hand corner and it just snaps right off. And this one's very clean because it's a new machine. But then we'll come in here and we'll use our little brush and we can clean all the lint out. So typically we do this before we put the stuff back in, um, but it's completely up to you. And just make sure you clean any of the lint. As you can see, there isn't really any and we put this back on. So when we put this back on, we don't want to put the back in first. We always want to put the side in, either the left or the right side. I always work with the left side because on the right side, there's a little hole that lines up with this little peg here. So it's best if you have that side in first, it's easier to snap that in. And that's what I'm used to because our other machines, they really should go in the left side first, but it's not the end of the world. All right, well, that's pretty much it for cleaning and oiling your machine. Uh, with the Bernina 3 Series and you working with the CB hook system. All right, well, happy sewing.